Hey everybody and welcome back to Smithworks Studios YouTube channel and uh, doing another video on all this stuff that was damaged in the hurricane and in this case it was bananas. Our tree and a couple of the trees around the neighborhood were knocked down so we hang them in our kitchen and uh, let them ripen and then use them as we need them but uh, we're starting to get out paced so I'm going to take some of these and turn them into banana chips and uh, show you all how we do it. Now, growing up, my folks had tried a couple of different times to make banana chips and they never turned out. They always went kind of brown and mushy in the dehydrator. And uh, so we kind of gave up on them. And uh, I came across this book here, The Complete Dehydrator Cookbook. And I'm not sponsored or anything by this book or the publisher or anything like that. I just really like it. And in this book is where I learned about acidulation. And it's basically taking a fruit putting it in a bath of a mild acid and that stops an enzyme and keeps it from oxidizing once it's in the dehydrator. Uh, so I really recommend this book. Um, again, I'm not sponsored or anything. I uh, just really like it and that's where I learned this. And so in this case the acid is 100% apple juice. Again, a really mild acid. It's no sugar added or anything like that. And uh, I'm going to slice the banana chips soak them in the apple juice for five or so minutes and then go straight into the dehydrator and away we go. It works really, really well. These bananas look a little the worse for wear and they did go through a tropical storm, but uh, it's really just cosmetic and uh, the bananas are just fine on the inside. So once they're all in the apple juice, I'll kind of mix them around, make sure they're nice and coated, make sure none of the sections are sticking together. And something else that the apple juice does really nicely is that it keeps them from sticking together and sticking to everything else. Banana can have a tendency to really adhere to itself. This really makes handling the actual chips themselves going to the dehydrator so much easier. So we have let these banana chips stand for just a little bit of time. Again, the book recommends about five minutes, but I'll just pick a handful up so that they can kind of drip dry and start to place the banana chips around the dehydrator. And that's it. Just lather, rinse, repeat. And I almost forgot, I would be remiss if I didn't mention this part. This is the apple juice that the banana chips soaked in. And it turns into an awesome apple, banana, nectar type of drink. And I highly recommend saving it. It is fantastic. So here we are, it's the next day. Uh, stripped the bananas off the racks and put two jars up. And then I saved the ones that weren't. Uh, as nice as chips in a bag and I'll eat those in my lunch the next couple of days. Uh, turns out if they are too, too ripe, they won't really firm up. They kept a nice color, but they stayed kind of into fruit leather. So that's going to be our next project is turning the rest into fruit leather. But uh, again, this is just so easy. You take the lid, set it on the jar, make sure that sits down tight. In the recipe book it says uh, these are theoretically good for up to a year but it does say right on the apparatus here that this is not a substitute for heat canning but for dried goods it's a great option and it makes it much more shelf stable in the long run so thank you all for watching and learning with us